Nashville. Tonight there's a scam going around mm -hmm. parts of our state, especially in the four corners, but really everyone in the state needs to know about it. Jacqueline Otagon reports there's a certain victim in your family scammers are really going after right now. And that's what's happening in these cases. The kids are sending sensitive images and the extorter immediately comes back and says, hey, now that I have this, I'm going to tell you you're going to send me money or I'm going to send this to all your friends and family. He's describing financial extortion and scammers are targeting young people in the four corners. It's a warning for everyone, but especially young adult males. Detectives say because of this kind of scam, victims seem to be embarrassed to talk about it. When we go and talk to the families about this. One, the parents have no idea about it. And a lot of times, even the teenagers, even though we know this is happening because we've seen the chat logs, we've seen the images that have been sent, they still deny it. Since victims aren't coming forward, you're probably wondering how these cases are brought to light. Well, it's the social media sites themselves. And these social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, um, Snapchat, uh, TikTok, they have artificial intelligence embedded in them and they look for this extortion on their platforms. And when they find it happening, they report it. Detective Christopher Blee with the Farmington Police Department says the best way to avoid extortion is having open conversations about the topic. And remember, not everyone you meet online is real. Is that parents have to talk to their kids. That's the bottom line. Uh, parents have to know this is going on. Their children have to know this is going on. Um, if you don't know them in real life, there should be some heavy vetting going on to see if this is a, is a real person. In Farmington, Jacqueline Aragon, KOB4.